So in this video, let's talk about a special kind of ion. So far, we've been talking about monatomic ions. That's an ion where there's only one thing. So Sn, which has a 2 plus charge. Al, which has a 3 plus charge. But there's a lot of ions that are called polyatomic, more than one atom. So, for instance, this is one, SO4, 2 minus, okay, or PO3, 3 minus, or OH minus, or NH4 plus, or HG2, 2 plus, okay. These are all a group of atoms that have a charge. A group of atoms that have a charge. A group of atoms that have a charge. Okay? The trick to dealing with polyatomic ions is they, they're a thing. You can't change them. Okay? Like, for instance, this C2O4 2 minus is a polyatomic ion. Sometimes it's tempting. Well, can I just call it CO2 2 minus or 1? No, you can't, you can't change it. It is what it is. Okay? We're not going to shorten it or reduce it or do anything to it. Okay, there's actually kind of a lot of these. The bad part of this is just like if you're taking Spanish class, the only way you can speak Spanish is if you have some vocabulary or speak French, you need to know some French words. So in chemistry, we can't really speak chemistry unless we know some words. So unfortunately, we have a list of polyatomic ions that we're going to end up memorizing. Okay, we're going to memorize them in groups and have quizzes. Um, this is going to be your first quiz right here. These are all of the, well, these are some polyatomic ions that all have a negative one charge, okay? Cyanide is CN minus. NO3 minus is nitrate, okay? Nitrate, nitrite. Notice that nitrite has one less O than nitrate. Uh, and the only way to really get around this is to memorize them, okay? Acetate is normally going to be written like this. Sometimes we'll see it like that, and I'll tell you why someday. Um, a couple of these have two names. Unfortunately, you have to learn them both because if I say hydrogen sulfite, you need to know it's that. Or if I call it bisulfite, you need to know it's that. Okay. This will be your second quiz. These will be all the ions that have a minus two charge. Okay. So the second time we have a quiz, two, four, so there will be seven things on it. And you'll need to know that chromate is CrO42 minus. And that dichromate is Cr207 2 minus. Um, and then that carbonate and oxalate are often confused by students of your approximate size. And then there's going to be a quiz. This is sort of a random bunch. There's a couple that have a minus three charge. There's one that has a plus one charge. And there's one that has a plus two charge. These will be combined with the next thing. These are called oxyanions. They're anions with oxygen in them. And I want you to see that there's a pattern here, okay? The ones with one O are hypo and ite. With two O's, they're ite. Three O's, they're eight. Four O's, they're per eight. So hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, per chlorate. With the bromine, hypobromite, bromite, bromate, per bromate. With the iodine, hypoiodite, iodite, iodate, and per iodate. Memorizing the polyatomic ions is not fun, okay, but it doesn't end up being too bad. We'll do them in groups, and then I would highly recommend, probably the only time I say this all year, that you make flashcards, either online or put them in your back pocket, okay?